MagTef, and it's that one word that seems to confuse a lot of people out there. Uh, as you know, it's Marine Air Ground Task Force, and what it's comprised of is uh, a very compact organization that can be put into the most uh, expeditionary environment you can imagine, and they can operate. As well as it can come into a more stable and, and static environment like what we have here in Afghanistan, and can function just as well. The MAGTAF can be, is, you know, there's, there's the standard measures of a MAGTAF, the MU, the MEB, and then the MEP. Our roots are amphibious, and so it was always designed to be on a uh, forward presence, a forward ready, on ship, ready to respond to anything. And uh, now it's time, now, now as we face withdrawal, now as we face the presidential mandate, to start sending people home. We're in a position for at least another eight months to continue to keep the pressure on the insurgents because they're running. They're, they're on their heels, they're on their back. They're not functioning anywhere near the way they were in the earlier years, 2009, 2008. But as the withdrawal begins, we're gonna move from a counterinsurgency mission to an advisor trainer mission. And then we will be in the background We'll provide quick reaction forces for them, and we'll provide some enabler support, be it medevac, aviation, fires, or those kinds of things. But the Afghans will be doing the fighting, and we'll be doing the advising. We're still here in enough strength, enough numbers, that if, if they should have challenges or problems, we're right there, we can back them up. So this is a period to sort of really finalize the security situations in all the districts, and push all the Afghan security forces into the lead. We've modeled for the security leadership, for the Afghan security forces, I think we've modeled for them what uh, it is to have authority, but use it in a way that betters people. That modeling that we've done, I think, has been taken on by the Afghans. Because in, in the end, that, that's, that's what we can do more best, is, you know, is just properly model you know, how a country with the military might that we have can still, in an, in an area like Afghanistan, behave under strict rules, showing compassion for people. And, you know, when, it, when you don't have to apply firepower, even though you're taking risk, you don't. And that's what our Marines and Sailors bring to this, bring to this fight, is that is that compassion and those values that allow us to do the right thing.